I've really retired from the music business for sure, um, but I still make music, but I don't worry too much about the business part of it. Maybe I never did. Maybe that's um, why I had to hitchhike here from Canada. But um, yeah, I've never, I've never uh, really understood how the music biz works. Uh, that's that's okay. I used to be frustrated by that, and then at some point I realized it's okay. It's this strange beast, and and I don't really have to be part of it. So um, yeah, I just make music and look forward to opportunities to mostly just to play with people that I dig, and. Um, you know, I had kind of, like I said, sworn off the idea of getting it on a stage in front of people. But this is, if it could always be like this, I'd play every night, trust me. Um, but, you know, you go into places and maybe, maybe the monitors don't work or the sound engineer is a miserable, you know, almost was musician. That happens sometimes. Not always, but usually it's amazing. I mean, most of the time I walk out of my door and I have amazing days, but... The rock and roll world and the music biz is pretty strange. It's amazing just to be alive, really, to survive, you know, some of the, uh, some of the insanity. I mean, we've been part of, you know, major label uh, craziness and, uh, you know, it's, it's a weird, weird biz. But um, I'm just happy to have survived and I'm really incredibly grateful that you guys would come out today and just kind of be part of my little day. It's really, really important to me, and it's really valuable to me, so thank you for that. I'm going to do a song I wrote um, about my dad. Uh, it's a tricky song because, um, yeah, it's, it's one that I often get requested to do, and it's, just, it's sad, but it's also not. I mean, really, you know, the truth is, our, our, it's amazing to me because I look at my son Josh, who's just this hairy, sweaty, 26-year-old guy, you know? But I see my little delicate mom in, in my son Josh. It's so beautiful, you know? He's, he's all like hairy-chested and he's like a gnarly dude, you know? But I can see my mom and my grandma in my, in my son's face, which is so awesome. So, I mean, I'm a big believer. You know, not, not to insult anyone here, but I'm, I'm not really a believer in, in spirituality, but I really believe in what I can see, you know? And what I see is my grandmother and my mother's face in my, in my hairy son's face. So, um, and my, my dad passed on, my brother passed on, my mom, but, uh, you know, every time I play music, they're, they're with me. So, and they're with me a lot of the other times as well, of course, but... Um, they never really go away. So hopefully this song won't be too sad for anybody. But um, I guess I, I think of it as a celebration now. You know, this song used to really kill me and I really could barely, I couldn't really perform it because it was too much. <laughs> to us about fast cars and heroes no one to tell me my music's too loud and the freedom is so bittersweet it feels like nothing in life The lecture about troubling girlfriends. They told me I will cut the grass in my hair. He's the same man that bought me the toy red guitar. And he held me and me. With just one hand, the strongest man in the world. 
something in our house grew tired one summer but he held on to his American dream well a man can be swallowed by pride and he smiled as I walked up the aisle with my bride and shook my the strongest man in the world I stood by the bed where the old man was feeding And I watched as the power went out of his eyes And I knew that his dreaming would not be destroyed When I saw what he made my own little boy, hand in hand, with the strongest man, hand in hand, with the strongest man. Strongest man in the world. There you go. Thank you, thank you. I wrote that song a year to the day after my dad died, and I was in upstate New York with a, a friend of mine, uh, Bob Halligan, and. Um, yeah, there was nothing else I could think about on that day, so we wrote that song, and I'm so honored to get to write a song like that, because really, it's just my little story, and that's all it is, you know, but it's, you know, I really feel like we captured something there, and so that's a, just an honor to get, like I said, there's so many amazing musicians and songwriters I've been able to work with, and really just hundreds of amazing people. <laughs> 